सर Assalamualaikum everyone. Let's see who we have. Waalaikum assalam. We'll get, uh, we'll wait uh, one or two more minutes. Um, maybe more people can join in. Well, well done to all of you for being on time. Mashallah. Most of you seem to be here, so that's very good. They will make a start in a minute, inshallah. Okay, let's make a start. So it's important to be punctual. Bismillahir Rahmanir Rahim. I hope you can all hear me and see me as well. So welcome to the MUS virtual summer camp. So online summer camp. Uh, so firstly, I would like to say uh, well done to all of you who participated in the exam. You attended the classes and you participated in the exam. Mashallah, the results were very good. So all the teachers and parents are proud of all of you. So very well done to all of you for your hard work. Mashallah, you've done very well in the exams, those of you who participated. So now we're starting with a new program. So we have a six weeks program, possibly seven week, uh, starting from <clears throat> this week and ending in the week 23rd of August. Uh, the classes are online. Uh, this class will be for age eight to 10. And it'll be every Wednesday and it'll be led by me. So my name is Karar Haydri. Some of you have joined my book three class with the MUS. So you, you know me already. So some of you who are new, so welcome to this group. The aim for this is that we're gonna do something different and something more fun. And we're gonna include Islam on the side as well. So this is something extra that you're gonna learn skills which will help you for the future as well, okay, which will help you benefit outside in your life, in your daily lives. So these are the different activities which we'll cover each week. So you've got health and fitness, you've got crafts and arts, social interaction, moral stories, digital week, and we've got Muharram week as well. So with the Muharram week, we'll probably have seven week. So our this week is gonna be health and fitness, inshallah. Okay, so it's our first week. We're going to start with health and fitness. And then every week, our class will be roughly between 5.30 to 7. So we're going to start 5.30. So please be on time. And mashallah, most of you are all on time today. So that was excellent. And we'll hopefully finish by 7. We may finish quicker, 15 minutes, or we may finish 15 minutes late. But uh, that's our rough time. So we'll try and finish uh, before 7, inshallah. Okay, so to make a start. So we'll start with this dua because this is the health and uh, fitness session. So we're gonna start with this dua. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Allahumma ashfini bi shifaika wa dawini bi dawaika wa afini min balaika fa inni abduka wa abnu abdik. So we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, oh Allah, make me healthy with your remedy. Cure me with your medicine keep me safe from misfortunes with which you try me because verily i am your servant and i am the son of your servant 
Okay, so we start with this dua to ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for good health and long life, inshallah, and stay blessed. Okay, so this is our plan today. So we're going to go quickly through the online camp rules, introduction and plan. And we have a, about class two, I'll tell you. We have word search and we're going to do healthy eating in the first part. And then we're going to do about exercise in the second part. We are not going to cook anything in this class. Uh, so I'm just going to tell you about healthy eating. And then inshallah, when you go, you can plan something and you can cook from one of those healthy things that we decide on. Okay, because we, we, I didn't have a way to get into you what we need. That's why we're not going to do live cooking. But maybe inshallah in the future. And then we have exercise. And then we're also going to have homework. Okay, we are going to play Kahoot as well inshallah. Which will be based on what we learn. So you need to make sure that you pay close attention. So, online classroom rules. So, uh, this is slightly different. So, normally your video is not allowed to be on. Okay. But you will be allowed to put your cameras on in some cases. And I will tell you when, in which you will demonstrate something. Maybe you will show a piece of your work. Okay. But though all of these sessions are recorded and they will be on YouTube. So, if you put your camera on, you need to make sure that you're observing the proper hijab and everything. And there's not nothing any appropriate thing because that will ruin the whole video. And then if you do not want to come in front of camera, then you just tell me and then we can choose those who would like to come. So you need to be punctual and prepared. Okay, so well done for being punctual. So that was very good. Regarding preparation, uh, uh, every week I'll post on Class Dojo what you need for the next week so you can be prepared. So I'll tell you how you can uh, do that. So putting your mic, so your mic is on mute and whenever you want to speak, you can type in the chat box or you can raise your hand and I will unmute you and you can speak. Uh, any questions, answers, you can type in the chat box. So you can use that. You do not need to put your video on now, no. Okay, uh, do the activities because I don't see the videos. I've just put the videos away in the background so I don't see it, but the other kids will see so it's better not to. Okay, so you don't need to put your videos now. And then the activities. So all the activities that I tell you, okay, uh, if you do them, you will enjoy the class more and then you will have more fun and you will be part of it. Okay, so do try them as well. So this is the plan. So we are in here. So we are for between eight, and, uh, eight to 10. So we have this seven week plan. So we have health week, then we have a spiritual week, then we have social week, then we have moral week, we have digital week, we have creative week, and then we have the week of Muharram to finish off with. Okay, so we have these seven weeks to cover, and inshallah, this is what you're gonna do. Okay, so this is the plan, inshallah, and we're gonna try and do them as we go along. So, class Jojo. So your parents will receive an email. So those who were in the previous classes, we're not using those groups. So you'll receive a new email and you have to set up the new group to be linked into the class for this summer camp only. Okay, so your parents will receive a new email to join the group and then you need to accept it. You need to follow the instructions. You need to create your account. And like previously that you've been using class Jojo, you can see all the updates there. So all of you, I want to, you to be registered on Dojo so you can get the updates so you can be prepared for the class more and any work that needs submitting, you can also submit it on there, inshallah. Okay, any questions? Anybody has any questions? So if you have any questions, you can raise your hand or you can type it in the chat box regarding to what I have said so far. Yes. Assalamu alaikum, Zain. Yes, yeah, alaikum Is the mail already sent or um, are you going to send it now? I will, I will send it uh, after the class, maybe tomorrow. Okay. Okay. Oh. Welcome. Can I change the age group? Uh, if you want to change your age group, you have to register again so you can get a link for the new class. 
Okay, each class has a different link and it's specific for that class. So you need to register again to get the link for that class. We're not doing any cooking, Fatima. So you don't need any ingredients for today. Okay. Um, so we're not doing cooking. We're just learning about food. Any other questions? So we're going to start with a word search. Um, these used to have a facility of annotation, but at the moment it is disabled. So I can't find it. So have a go. Um, so look at the words. So uh, I know this is not interactive now, so you can't actually find the words on there. I thought the annotation might work. So find the words. Um, so you can see the word, where the words are. And if you think you know where it is, you can raise your hand and then I will do the coloring for you. So you tell me where it is and I'll do it. Okay. So let's have a go. If I end this. Let's see, where is the coloring? Okay, let's go with Abiha. Um, That's Abiha. Where, where have you found one? I found one called protein at the top left. Top left of, in the first row? Yeah. This one? Yeah. Very good. So, we got protein. What, did you find anything else? Yeah. Which one? Underneath it, it's bones. Underneath it, it says bones. Very good. Okay, so let's have somebody else. Hadi. I found, I found protein, bones, and fruits on the other side and sugar. Sorry, what did you say after the bones? I said a fruit. Um, is, is the answer showing? Okay. Where, where is the fruits? It's the near the tomato, under it. Where's the tomato? Oh, there we go, yeah. And after, uh, under fruit, uh, uh, under fruit, it's the sugar. Okay, so we can say this is fruit, and then we can go for sugar underneath it, yeah? Yes. Very good. Okay, let's go for Ijal. Um, yes, Ijal. Uh, okay. Um, the, the um underneath bones, I found something called diet. Okay, bones. Where's diet? Underneath, underneath bones. Does that say diet? Oh yeah, you're right. I can see it now. Okay. Anything else you found? Another one. Okay. Zaina? Um, I found minerals. Uh, in where is where is minerals? Uh, it is seventh line on the left. One, one two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, there we go. Correct. Anything else you found? Uh, no. Okay, thank you. Let's go for Zahra. Zahra, is that? Raza. Let's see if it's working. Um, let me see. What did you find? Um, I think uh, salt. Where is salt? Is um, um, salt is right over. 
So if you tell me the line number. Wait, wait. Wait, wait. No? Um, no. I'm, I'm still looking for it. Okay, you have a look, and then maybe somebody else can go. A bus. I found fat and salt. Where is salt and where is fat? Under minerals, under the A of minerals, there's the S of salt, and the A is under the. Yeah. So that's. Uh, no, vertically. Vertically. S A. Um, not vertically. Um, Horizontally, horizontally. No, uh, diagonally. I forget it. Diagonally. Oh, diagonally. I don't. Uh, S. Oh yeah, there it is. I but I can't do diagonally. Okay, I I see where it is, but I can't do. Maybe I can rotate this actually. Let's have a look. There we go. Okay, there's salt. And fat is um, like beside the S of salt is the F. And this one, yeah? Yeah. Very good. Okay. That will do for, uh, for now. Um, I'm sorry that it didn't work uh, the way I wanted it to. I was going to allow you to annotate on it. Uh, so then you can see uh, what is happening. But... <clears throat> it didn't work, unfortunately. So sometimes this is what happens. You try something and it doesn't work. So you try something else. Okay. So thank you very much for all who participated. And thank you very much for all of you who raised your hand. And you also typed the answer in the chat box. So thank you very much for trying. Um, so I will see next lesson if, if we can make it work. Okay, so we'll try, you'll, you'll get a chance to do something else as well, inshallah. So the first part we're going to cover is healthy eating. Okay, so what is, uh, what is healthy eating? Anybody know? Uh, Abiha. Healthy eating is like when you eat fruit, uh, like food which which are good for your vitamins and help you grow strength in your body. Very good, very good. And uh, let's have Yusuf. Uh, it is when you have a balanced diet. And what do you mean by that? Okay, maybe um, we can cover that as well. Uh, Elias. A choice of food, a choice of good food. Good that food, yeah? Yeah, that we're yeah. eating. That's correct, very good. So, and we have Raza saying, eating fruits and vegetables and healthy foods to help your body grow. That's correct. Zain says, it is when you eat food which have proteins and vitamins. Very good, mashallah. So we know what is healthy eating, okay? So we're going to cover... Uh, that, uh, that today in the first part. So we're going to go skim through, read most of them because we know them. Okay. So before we go into what is healthy eating into more details, okay, we're going to look at Quran and Ahlul Bayt. Okay, because they are our source. Okay. So somebody named iPhone saying having a good diet. Zahra says healthy eating is when you eat food which gives you what you need. Very good. Okay, so we're going to look at importance of the health okay why is health important so we look in the quran allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that we should eat and drink but we should not be excessive okay so what does that mean that means that we shouldn't waste food okay we should be very careful of what we eat and drink we should eat and drink only halal and we should not waste food at all the holy prophet peace be upon him says that the stomach is the house of every sickness and the diet is the best cure. So it gives to each body what you have accustomed with it. Okay, so the stomach is the house of every sickness. So if you eat bad food, then the illnesses, all the diseases could come to you. And if you eat good food, okay, then it keeps your body strong. 
It also says, the Prophet also says, peace be upon him, that avoid overeating, which ruins the body and it causes ailment, so illnesses, and it prevents one from worshipping. If you eat too much, if you eat bad food, then we get lazy and we get sleepy. And then if you sleep too much, then that means we get neglect, neglectful in our prayers and we forget God because we get too lazy to stand up and move. Okay? So your cure is yourself while you do not know and your disease is from yourself while you do not understand. So Imam says that if we know ourselves, if we know what we eat, okay, then that is the cure to our body and health. Okay, if we don't know, then we can be in trouble. And Imam also says that I inform you of four things that you will not need to be in of any doctor. Okay, do not sit for eating. So these are the four things the Imam is listing. So if you do these four things, then you do not need a doctor. So do not sit for eating, except that you're hungry. So if you're not hungry, do not eat. Do not raise up from eating unless you have an appetite for food. So unless you, have, uh, you feel like eating, then do not raise up, so eat good food. Chew the food well, so break up the food, and then go to the water closet before you go to bed. Okay, so drinking water before you are sleeping. So this is the advice of from the Quran and from our Imams. Okay, so so why do we need healthy food? So some of you have already said it, uh, so that is correct. So food helps you grow. Okay, it gives you energy. It, uh, it makes, helps you able to do things with proper nutrients. So nutrients are the things that our body needs, our body survives. Okay, when we eat a balanced diet, so somebody mentioned the balanced diet, our body obtains fuel, okay, and nutrients, and it needs to be functioned properly. Okay, so some of you are typing good answers, so I will make it public so people can see your good answers as well. Okay. So when you eat the balanced diet, so balanced diet is putting the correct food together and eating. That's what we're learning about today in this lesson. Some of you already know, so that's very good, mashallah. So for example, our body needs minerals to make hormones, build bones, and regular, regulate our heartbeat. Water is needed to flush out toxins, transport nutrients to cells, and perform other vital bodily processes. Okay, so why is it important to have to eat varied diet? Okay, so what does different foods contain? Okay, so fruits and vegetables. They are very delicious. So what is the role of fruit and vegetable in our diet? Okay, what do they do? They help us to digest the food. Okay, so if you have any questions, you can always use your hand. So we have Farah. Yes, Farah. Um, what if we eat both um, healthy and junk food? So what if you eat both healthy and junk food? Then it depends how much of it you eat. Okay. So it's like doing good deed and bad deed. Okay. So the, if you eat more healthy, then you'll stay more healthy and a bit of unhealthy will, will be okay. But if you're too much unhealthy and only a bit of healthy, then the unhealthy will overpower your healthy bit and then it will, it will take you, it will have bad effect on your body. Okay, so the balance is important. That's what we're learning about today, that why is the balance important? So we can see here, okay, that fruits and vegetables help to digest our food. It breaks them down, okay? It, ha it is a good source of vitamins, as some of you mentioned. Uh, what is? Okay, do not do private chat while the chat is made public, please. Because if you do that, then I will disable the chat. Okay, so if you want to try, I've, I've made the chat public, so you can type your good answers so others can benefit from your knowledge as well while you're typing, okay? So do not do private chat to each other. A good source of vitamins and fiber helps to reduce the risk of heart disease cancers and it helps us grow so you can see we can see that in the fruit in the foods and vegetables 
Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has saved cure for us. Okay, so if we do follow these advices, we do them, then we don't have to see the doctor, we don't get ill. We have uh, three, uh, 13 different types of vitamins. Okay, some of them are good for eyesight, some are good for hair, some are good for skin. Okay, they help our body to heal. I think somebody mentioned that. Okay, they help our body to heal as well. Okay, and they help us digest the food. They help us grow. Okay, and many other benefits. Uh, let's go. iPhone, who's iPhone? Uh, do you have a question? Who's um, iPhone? iPhone? Hello. Hello. Um, yeah, so. Uh, What's your name? Um, Sarah. Okay, Sarah, yes. Um, You're going to say? Some people say um, that if you eat vegetables, it helps you um, get taller. Is that true or is it just like something that people say? No, that, that is true because uh, they are good for your bone. Okay, so they help you grow. They help uh, your muscles to grow. They help your muscles to rebuild. Okay, so all of these foods, they play part in helping your body. Okay, so that's why we have to have the balance of all. Just the fruits and vegetables probably won't have the effect, but having the balance of everything, it will play a part. Okay, so they are good for your bones to grow. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Okay, so the next group is called carbohydrates. Carbohydrates, they give us energy. Okay, and they also contain fi uh, fibers, calcium, and vitamin B. Okay, so where do we find uh, carbohydrates? We can find them in cereals, in bread, and in potatoes. Okay, so potatoes does not go under the vegetables in here. It goes under the carbohydrates. We need them, okay, to get more energy. But we should watch out to not have too much of them. Because if you have too much of them, then uh, they change uh, to fat, okay? And they get stored in our body, and it has bad effect on, on us. Okay, so we can find this in bread, pasta, potatoes, okay? They are a very good source of carbohydrate. So we need them to have more energy and to go um, get our actions done in the day and exercises. So we need to eat lots of them in the day. The next one we have is proteins. Okay, so what is proteins? Proteins helps our body to grow and repair itself and keep, the, keep hair, skin, muscles, and nails strong. Okay, so as Sarah was saying that for if you eat vegetables, it helps you grow. So we need the proteins and the fiber to help us grow. Okay, so the proteins makes our bones stronger. And the fiber together, it helps us to, to make it, make us grow and become taller. Or as we go along, we get taller anyway. So our bones become stronger. Okay, uh, Zane. Uh, Zane, do you have a question? Zain? Okay, so examples of protein, uh, foods that we can find protein in is red meat, fish, beans, yogurt. Okay, we should have some of these every day. Okay, one of these we should have every day. And we need, but we need to be careful that we do not have too much of this, okay? Because it raises our blood pressure, uh, uh, cholesterol as well, okay? Then we have something which comes under protein. It's called the dairies, okay? These includes calcium, which helps to keep our bones and teeth strong, okay? Examples of the dairy include milk, yogurt, and cheese, okay? So you can see the different variety that we eat to keep our diet balanced. But I do not have a question. Okay, that's fine. There was your hand was raised, so I thought you are having questions. Okay. So, because some of us are not following the rule of the chat, I will change the chat option for now. Okay. So next one is fats. Okay. So what are fats? Fats help us store energy for our body, okay? So it gives us energy. Example of this includes oil, avocado, butter, 
okay cake nuts okay these things they have fat they also are used to give us energy okay but too much of them are not good as well we will see in a minute how much of each of these things we need to have yes ice cream as well okay um, so we need to see in a bit in a minute how much of each one of these we need okay it helps our body to absorb vitamins as well so when we have the vitamins in our body they are like an acid okay so these things they help us absorb them and make most use of them so it's like when we eat these things okay so they are like squished and the energy or the good things are come out of it and they are used in our body around our body by our organs okay somebody asked uh, asked earlier i forgot the name uh, regarding the fast food and healthy food okay so as i mentioned that you have to have the balance between food the junk food that we eat okay they have low nutrients okay so the nutrients are the main things that are taken out of these foods that our body needs and the junk food they are low in that but they are very high in fat and sugar which we don't want to take too much okay and because that is bad for our body okay so that's why eating too much junk is very bad for the body and mind ishrat anybody has any questions ishrat uh, yes do you have a question why do we need vitamins why do you need vitamins vitamins uh, help you to grow uh, your bones okay they are helpful for growth of the bones okay and it helps you to reduce as uh, it says in the first one it helps to reduce risk of getting any illnesses okay okay it's mainly for growth okay. and we have ayan can ayan, we play you have a... yes teacher can we play kahoot we will play kahoot uh, later on so you need to make okay. sure you listen you listening to what i'm saying because yeah. the kahoot will be based on this okay teacher okay well good and then sarah um uh i have a question about um the vitamins yes yeah. so why are there different type of vit vitamins like um vitamin a and vitamin c and stuff like that why yeah. are there different types so i um so this is not my speciality okay because i i'm not a doctor but from what i checked uh, there are 13 different types of vitamins and then each vitamin helps for different thing okay so some vitamins help for your uh, for your body like growth of your bones and body some vitamins are good for your skin some vitamins are good for your eyesight some vitamins are good for for your um what is it called in general growth okay so each vitamin is good as has a benefit for different parts of our body that's why we have uh, the different ones but maybe best to check with the doctor which vitamin to use or you can just google it uh, how many vitamins are there and the answer will come up okay to see which one is for which okay thank you. okay so now we'll do a task okay so this is your task okay i'm going to give you 2 minutes and then you are going to find one example of food from your house from your kitchen which shows this so the foods that we just covered okay so you can see example for fiber carbohydrate proteins and fats so i want to find a food in your house which has those things in them and then you can type the food or you can show me on the camera as well so let me put the timer up so so this is the timer so if you do the action okay so you can go and find it when you come in you can type what you found and you can tell me the name of the food and what it has or you can show me and i i can put the video on as well okay so you have 2 minutes to go and find a food which has those which you, you can find in your house and which has these vitamins or these different things that we need okay and you have to tell me which one it has so how this is apples and grapes so what which category does apples and grapes come in hadi 
and what he says tomato so you have to tell me the category as well okay if anybody found the items they want to show in the video then you can tell me and then i can make your video on the screen let's see who's who's got their video on I found some wheats, so we got sweets and crisp, and I got some vegetables. Wheat box. What is the wheat box? In which category does the wheat box wheat box go? Isha, uh, what's that? Minahil. Ishal, oranges, carrots, tomatoes. Which category does that go in? Eggs go in protein. That's correct. So where is Hadi? Let's see if I can find the video. Okay, so that's the end of the time. Uh, let's see. Why didn't you share? So who wants to show on the on the screen please and or if you're typing you can type it in if you want to show then i can put it on so let's go a bus. A bus. Do you need to show this? Hasnain? Um, I found cheese, um, yeah. a pear, an so, apple, an orange, some yogurt, and a cucumber. Very good. So the cucumber, the apple, orange, which category does that go into? What does that give you? What type of energy does that give you? Is that is that carbohydrate, protein, fats, fiber? Which one does that give you? Hmm? Um, so, so what I was so what do vegetables give? They give us? They give us energy, like protein. Like yes. protein. So they give us fiber, yeah? So they have a lot of fiber. Vegetables have a lot of fiber in them. Okay. And then, we'll see that's correct. So let's have Ishrat. Ishrat? Um, I got Weetabix, which is fiber, Nutella, which is fat, egg, which is protein, and pasta, which is carbohydrate. Very good. Well done. Okay, and then we have Elias. Um, I only managed to get two of them. What did you find? I only found a uh, Kit Kat and an egg. So what? Uh, what about cake and egg? What do they give us? Uh, egg gives us fiber. Yeah. Which is protein, and uh, this gives this is junk food, uh, which is uh, from fat. Yes, that's correct. Okay, and then we have Manahil. Minahil. Yes, Minahil. I found brown bread and Weetabix. You found bread, Weetabix, and? 
I only found brown bread and wheat in it. Okay, what do they give us? Fiber. Fiber, very good. Okay, and then we have Ijal. I have um I have bread and I got bread and an apple and bread gives us carbohydrate and apple gives us fiber. Correct, very good. Uh, Sayeda Fida Fidia Zahra says that potatoes gives us carbohydrate. She found potatoes which gives us carbohydrate, very good. Hadis got yogurt and milk, which are dairy. That's correct. Okay, and we'll do one more person. So very good. And then we'll move on so we can do more activities, inshallah. So let's do Ayan. Ayan? Yes, I found apple and a pear. And what do they give us? I think proteins and vitamins. Yes, apple and pear. So they come under the fruits and vegetables. So they mainly give us vitamins and fiber. Yeah, oh. very good. So well done for all of you who found uh, the different fruits and items in your house. So very well done to you. So let's go. Let's see what's the... So we have a bus header. A bus? So I have three more people who've raised their hand. A bus. An apple for fibers. Yeah. Cheese for fat. Yeah. Whole grain pasta for protein. No, carbohydrates. Yeah. And an egg for protein. Very good. Very good. Well done. So well done all of you. Okay. Hello, I'm a person. Okay. So we'll move on. Uh, you can get more chance. So importance of water. So what is water? Okay. Water helps us to move nutrients in our in your body so each of these uh, different foods that we eat which gives us fiber carbohydrate or uh, fats okay they are changed into nutrients which is the main energy that our body needs and then the water gets them into our body in different places and it also helps us to get rid of the waste from our body it is an essential nutrient that we need and we must drink a lot of water okay the more we drink the better it is for us. They say that you should drink at least eight glass of eight glasses of water a day. Okay, and then benefits of drinking water. So, what benefits can we get? Okay, it improves our memory and mood. Okay, so from water, maybe we didn't know that that it, it affects our mood as well. If you we don't have enough water in our body, then it affects our mood because we get thirsty, we get dehydrated. Okay, and it affects a lot of our brain and heart and other activities and we get tired. So it affects our mood in many ways. Okay, it helps us reduce sugar and it's also good for weight loss. Okay, they say a lot drinking a lot of water, it helps you to do weight loss as well. Okay, that's what the doctor says. Uh, so that's what they do. It helps to reduce headaches and migraines. So if you get a lot of headache, you drink water, okay, then it is very helpful as well. If you're thirsty, that is called dehydration. Yeah, so that's uh, what Sabah says. Water flushes out toxins and waste. That's correct, Hadi. Okay, it helps prevent constipation. So if you if you get constipated, you have you have water, then it is very helpful. And also like um, food which which are high in fiber, okay, they help as well in a constipation as well. Uh, it helps to energize your muscles and joints and it protects your joints as well. It gives you healthy skin and heart. Okay, and there are many more other benefits as well. Zahra. Zahra. Sometimes I click on this 
unmute button and it just doesn't work. I don't know why. Let's try that. Zahra? Zahra Suleiman, you have a question? No? Okay, Muhammad. Muhammad Naki? Yes. You have a question? No. Okay, your hand was raised. And we have iPhone. Is that Sarah? iPhone? Yeah, Sarah. Sarah, sorry. Um, uh, the water is, I don't know why, but uh, it's like um, a lot when doctors, um, like when you go to the doctors yeah. um, for a checkup, a lot of the time they say you need to just drink more water. That's correct, yeah, because water has a lot of benefits, okay? Um, it cleans our body, it cleans all the toxics in our body, all the bad things, so it helps us uh, to stay healthy. Okay, so um, that, yeah, you were going to say um, something? Water, it's like all around the world in the oceans and rivers and things like that, but then but, um, all around the world, people say that that nobody has water. And that it's, I, I, I mean, I know water is precious, but yeah. how come uh, the, the poor people don't have water if it's all over Okay, let's, let's ask you two questions for or maybe a few questions. I'll ask you, then you can see. So do you know how much of the world, uh, you're right, there's a lot of water in the world. Do you know how much of the world is made of water? Um, how much? Okay, if you split the world into four parts i think they say that three parts is water and only one par part is land so you're right there's a lot of water in the world but despite having all the water people do not have water why can people not drink the sea water anybody knows do you know is it because it's dusty the sea water is not drinkable because it it is salty yeah it has a lot of salt in it. It is not for drinking. Is uh, it there some sort of filtration system they can make? Yeah, that's correct. So countries like UK and other places, because they have a filtration system, because they are rich and they have facilities uh, where they can get water uh, to our houses. So the water, they, the, they take the water from the sea, they filter it in a place. And from there, through the pipes, they send the water to everybody's house because they have that facility. But in some countries, uh, the government, for example, in Iran, in some places of Iran, like in, in, in Qom, if you go there, if, uh, or you can ask your parents, they've been there, the government has that facility to take the water and send it to people, but maybe they do not have enough resources to filter it. So in Iran, they get the water in their houses, but it is that salty water, they cannot drink it. So they have to buy the normal water to drink in Qom. Okay, but in Africa, in other places where the people do not have water, it is due to the lack of uh, government not doing their duties properly to make the water reach to them. So that's why they are dying of thirst. So if some people are not doing the responsibility, the others are paying for it. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. And Ijal. Ijal? Ijlal. Um, yes, um, I, I have a question that, you know, water, um, is it, can fruity water count as water? It can count as a water, but the pure water is a better water. Okay, so if it's pure uh, uh, water, then it's better. Uh, Para. Um, I don't. Um, when the governments give water to the people, does, do they take the fish pee out? Do they take the fish? Like fish pee. What is fish pee? 
you mean do, do they take the fish as well from the sea when they take water yeah yeah no they don't take uh, the fish out all the time so they only filter the water they have a machine a pipe which goes down in the sea and that pipe it just takes only water out um Elias? What do you say? Elias, you have a question? Oh, no, I don't have a question. Okay. And then... Mariam? Mariam Hasnain? Um, how does... How do people know that if water is um pure? How do people know if the water is pure? The normal water that uh, we get in our houses in this country, they are pure. Okay, the water that comes out of the mountains, they are pure and clean. Okay, so the normal water, it is kind of tasteless. If the water has a taste, smell, or the different color, it is ha it has a color then that's not pure water, okay? So the water that we have in our house or that comes out of the mountain, they are pure. So you will have those ones. Uh, is it Mahat? Let's see if I can. Why is it not working? Mahat, S. Mahat. You have a question? It's not allowing me to. Oh, there we go. There Hello? you go. Yeah, you have a question? No. You said unmute me. No, I didn't. Okay. Okay, so that's with the water. Okay, so what should we be eating? Okay, the eat well plate. So to be healthy, nutritious, food is needed to provide energy for the body. A variety of food is needed to for have a balanced diet. Okay, somebody says at the start that we need to have a balanced diet. So this is how a balanced diet looks like, okay, to keep us healthy. So in average, so if this, if you look at this, this is how our plate should look like, okay? So first we split our plate into three sections, okay? In one section, we have carbohydrate, okay? So we have bread, potatoes, cereal, and those things in the orange, okay? Then another third section, we have vegetables, okay? So you can see the vegetables, so fruits, vegetables, and any of those. And then the remaining, okay? So first we split our plate into three. One third is for carbohydrate. The second third, second part is for fruits and vegetables. And the third part, we split it again, okay? In which we have the uh, proteins and the fat in there, okay? And also the dairy. Okay, so this is how a healthy plate should look like. So whenever we want to eat uh, healthy, we need to make sure that our plates look something like this, in which we need to have a balance of carbohydrate. So we need to have bread, we need to have vegetables. Okay, for vegetables, they said that we have to eat at least five vegetables a day, uh, not vegetables, fruits and vegetables, okay, to give us that energy. We need to eat some of the red meats, we need to have some cheese as well, some fatty stuff like cake, crisp. Okay, so all of them play a part. If you eat too much of one, then it will not be good for us. So that's how our plate should look like. Okay, which has a bit of everything. But what we do, if we're eating junk food, we have, we have too much fat in there. We don't have the balance of the other things. If we just eat, like some people are vegetarian, they just eat uh, fruits and vegetables, okay? They don't have other things like protein and carbohydrate in it. So it's not very good. So we have to have that balance, okay? So how can we recognize what which food is the right food for us? 
Okay, so how do we recognize which food is the right one for us? Uh, Zahra says, Zahra Suleiman, five a day will keep the doctor away. Very good. Okay, that's correct. Five a day will keep the doctor away. That is correct. So food labeling. Okay, nutrients level can help you choose between the products, whether the food is high in fat, salt, or added sugars. Okay, they are color-coded information which tells you if the food has high, medium, or low fat, saturated fat, sugars, and salt. So it is good for us to start off with looking at the labels. Okay, green is a low amount, amber is medium amount, and red is high amount. So when we want to buy food, we have to look for the green labels. The more green labels it has, the better that food is for us. Okay, so that's how we decide which food is good for us and which is not. As a Muslims, we have to keep in mind some extra steps, which is halal, okay? We cannot eat everything. We have to make sure that we check for labels which says either it says halal on it or it says suitable for vegetarian, okay? If it says suitable for vegan, vegetarian, then that is okay for us as well. Especially, we have to be very careful with the fruits, sorry, uh, sweets. Some sweets, okay, they are not suitable for us. Okay, they don't have these signs on them, so we should be careful not to eat them. And also, when looking at sweets, okay, there is a, an ingredient in the sweet which is called gelatin. Gelatin is either made from beef or pork, but mostly it is from pork and it comes in sweets a lot. Okay, so when we are looking at the sweets, we want to eat it, although they may be very tasty. We have to look for this. If it has gelatin, which comes from the pork, then we should not eat such a food or fruit. Okay, because it's not good for us. It's not, it's, it's actually haram if it has pork in it. Okay, so we're not allowed to eat that at all. At all. So when you're looking for food, you need to look, check for the label and see if you are allowed to eat it. Uh, Sarah? Um. You said that if it has a suitable for vegetarian sign, yeah. it's um, okay for us to eat. That's correct, yeah. Um, but somewhere I heard that vegetarians drink alcohol, and I'm not sure if it's true, but if so, does, that doesn't make it okay for us, right? Very good. That's good, good thinking. Um, so on the alcohol, I haven't seen actually, I, I, I haven't seen many alcohols, but I haven't seen anyone saying that on alcohol it says suitable for vegetarian. Okay, if it says that, okay, then we have to be very careful, you're right. So alcohol, we all know that it's haram for us. We cannot drink alcohol. So we have to be careful that, yeah, as if, if it is uh, uh, vegetarians, if, if somebody is vegetarian, they drink alcohol, it doesn't mean that we can drink as well. Okay, so in that sense, we have to be very careful. But majority of the food, um, which says suitable for vegetarian, it is suitable for us as well. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Mariam. Um, so I know that pork and alcohol are haram. And beer, yeah. so if you drink alcohol or beer, it makes you drunk. And drunk is like when you're walking weird, and it and it and the bad things from it they go into your brain and make you have bad decisions. That's correct. That is very correct. Yes. So alcohol, it is not allowed because it gets you drunk, and then it makes you have bad, uh, makes you do bad things and wrong actions, and it makes you have bad decision as well that's correct okay and zayn oh, yes yeah, so i was saying um that uh why is alcohol and beer and all of these things haram for us uh as um i forgot the name who, who did who just spoke um Oh, this is so bad. I just forgot who just spoke. So it says, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran that uh, that alcohol and beer is, is haram because these are the acts of shaitan. Okay, when we drink alcohol, we lose our mind. Okay, 
um, somebody, uh, Mariam, Mariam, sorry, yeah. Mariam, as Mariam just explained nicely, okay, that when we drink this, okay, we make wrong decisions. We, we can't even think. Our brain stops working. Okay, that's why Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows what is best for us. So he says, stay away from them. Because when we drink alcohol, we lose our mind and we just don't know what we're doing. We walk weird. We do weird actions. Okay, so that's why uh, Allah has made it haram on us. Uh, so make sure that we don't drink it. And we, whenever we want to make decisions, we do it with the right mind frame. Zaina. Um, in some uh, like creams, I've seen I've seen at the back it says may contain alcohol, and sometimes it does. What sort of shape? Sometimes um uh, I I I've, I've gone to the shop and I saw on this like cream to put on your body um. Uh, it said uh, contains alcohol. Are we allowed that? Um, so the cream uh, we are not uh, eating or drinking. Um, some uh, there is a different alcohol. Okay, some alcohol is called industri industrial alcohol. Okay, there for example they're used in perfume as well. They're used in the medicine as well. Okay, such alcohols are allowed uh, by some mirages. Okay, because we know eating them, we are applying them on our body. So they are, uh, they are allowed to use in that sense because it's for medicine or, or it's for other sense. But when you are praying, okay, for example, if, an, uh, if you're using a perfume which has alcohol and you're praying, then you're not allowed to use uh, such alcohol. Okay, so depending on the situation, um, sometimes you're allowed and sometimes you're not allowed. Okay, so to finish off with this, these are some of the foods uh, which you can find in the Quran is mentioned. Okay, so we have dates, which is mentioned in the Quran. So these are the fruits uh, and the food of the prophets that they used to eat or they eat. Okay, we have olive, uh, we have grapes, okay, we have fig, and we have pomegranates. So the grapes and the pomegranate they they are called also the like the fruits of the heaven okay all of these are the fruits mentioned in the quran they have many benefits they have all of these different uh, source uh, that we mentioned fiber protein okay they have all of these different uh, vitamins and energies for us in them as well so these are something good to eat so if you can find them then get used to eating them okay some of the pomegranates uh, they say that we have hadith, I think, that it says it could be from the heaven, okay? So eating them is very good because you might be eating one of the fruits, uh, part fruits from the heaven, okay? Farah. Uh, Farah, you have a question? Um, I forgot my question. Okay. If you remember, just raise your hand again. Mariam? Um, I've never heard of fig before. What is fig? So fig is, uh, as you can see in the picture, it's one of like, like uh, fruits that you can have. I haven't actually had it as well, to be honest. But this is what I found uh, when I looked up fruits in the uh, foods and fruits in the Quran. Maybe we can go in the market and find some and eat. I've heard of it um, one or two times, but I've never tasted it before. I haven't actually seen one, to be honest. So maybe we, maybe that's, that's the homework for me and all of you, to find these fruits in the next week and try them. Okay, so maybe we can do that. I'll take one or two more questions and then we can try a Kahoot. Um, because the time is, mashallah, running. Uh, Zaina. Um, um, in the Hadith, uh, like you mentioned, um, it says in the Hadith that in a pomegranate, there's one seed which is from the, is from heaven. That's correct, yeah. Yeah, the, so we have that hadith that says 
that uh, one of these seeds that we eat in the pomegranate could be from heaven. So whenever you see a pomegranate, make sure that you eat it. You could be eating that piece. Okay. Uh, Zahra says she has tried fig. So hopefully you liked it as well. Okay. The dates, uh, as Sabah says, that it was the favorite thing for the prophets and the imams. They used to eat dates with the bread and water as their iftar. And they used to break their fast. Okay. So it's very important. So I was going to do this uh, in the class, but we, you're going to do this on your own. So this is your homework. I want you to make yourself a diary like this. Okay. So you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, you have breakfast, lunch, tea, dinner. Okay. In which I want you to include foods. Okay. On each day of the different types that gives you different energy. So food, which gives you fiber, food, which gives you carbohydrate, food, which gives you fat and food, which gives you protein. Okay. So this is your first task that you need to do as part of your homework. So you need to think what kind of foods uh, will give you that and when you're going to eat on the different days. And then in the second part, uh, I, was, I thought we we're going to do this online as well, but you can do this at home as well. You can make yourself a plate. Okay. On, on that plate, you can have these different types of food. Okay. So imagining you having a plate of your own that you want to eat food and then you're going to try and start practicing putting the different types of energies that we need on our plate. Okay. So as you can see, the plate is split into three sections. One section is carbohydrate only. So this part where you have bread, pasta, rice, extra, etc. One third is for fruits and vegetables. And the other third, okay, is for proteins, fibers, and extra. Okay, so you can see they're split into, one third is split into three sections. So you have oil and cheese, you have the dairies, and then you have the uh, protein side. Okay, so I want you to do that for your plate as well. So you can uh, do that, inshallah. Okay, anybody has any questions? Okay, let's see. We have played Kahoot before. Uh, so we're gonna try Kahoot now. So for that, you need to go to kahoot.it. Okay, and then I'll give you the pin in a minute. So let's, let's see those who have a question, they've raised their hand. So new share. Okay, that's the game pin, 390356. While those are joining, I'll take questions. Yusuf? Yeah. You have a question? Uh, is banana mentioned in the Quran? I haven't seen it, so I'm not too sure. Um, Elias? Sometimes this just doesn't work, the un unmuting. Elias? Yeah? You have a question? Uh, uh, yeah, uh, you know, uh, on uh, the homework. Yeah? Uh, you, you turned off so quickly, I couldn't, I was going to uh, write, uh, uh, write the things that you told me to. Uh, you know, on activity two, two I couldn't uh, do that one because... Uh, okay, I will... I will, I will uh, I will I will show it again uh, after the uh, Kahoot, okay? Okay. So what's Kahoot? What's Kahoot? No, Kahoot is this online game that we're gonna do now. So if you go onto Kahoot.it, so www. Okay. Okay. K A H O O. I'll I'll type it in the text box as well. So K A H O O I T dot uh, dot it. Can you see my screen? Yeah. Well, we'll just join. We're gonna just we're gonna join, okay? Okay. So, if you can join Kahoot, then do it. 
Those of you that cannot join the Kahoot, you can just look at the questions on the screen that you will see, and then you can just answer it uh, at home on your own with your parents if you're sitting or on your own. Uh, Mariam, you have a question? Um, I'm. This is my first class, and I haven't been here the whole time. But I'm. I've done Kahoot on the computer before, but how do you do it on the phone? I. Uh, uh, your the zoom are you using the zoom on the phone yeah okay um so if you're using the zoom on the phone then you can't do the kahoot today so just uh, watch the kahoot on your phone and answer it uh, to yourself just make sure that you know the answers as we're going along because you i have to... done the pin i have done the pin and i can see both screens you can see both screens yeah okay then you're ready to go then good Otherwise, for the phone, you have to download the app normally. Uh, Farah? Yes? You have a question? Yeah. So, Allah made, Allah made alcohol. Why would he, if somebody drinks it, why would he make it, why would he make him bad? Like, think bad. So, Allah made alcohol and then uh, if people drink it and it's bad, so why did Allah make alcohol? Yeah. Um, everything has a reason, okay? Like some people are bad, some people are good, okay? So alcohol is not always bad. We have, uh, alcohol is also used in a good sense in terms of in medicine as well, okay? So the, some drinks are, are made by people, okay? So Allah has given us the skills and the choice so we can make good things or bad things. Okay, so these people decided to make the bad things and use it in a bad way. Okay, so that's the choice of the people. So Allah gave, has given us free choice. That's why he doesn't want it uh, to ban it. He wants us to decide to use it or not. Okay. Okay, we have 22 people in the, in the 24 in the Kahoot so far. Uh, Raza? Yes. You have a question? No, I was just saying I'm in. Okay, good. Uh, I have two more people. Abbas, you have a question? I've never played this game. Okay, if you haven't played, uh, you can watch it today. So when the questions come up, you try and answer it. Uh, you, you'll see the answers as well. You'll see how it works. And inshallah, you can play in the weeks uh, ahead. Okay? Okay. Good. Okay. So those of you still uh, trying to get in, uh, if you haven't played Kahoot or if you don't have Kahoot now, so what you need to do, you just look at the question on the screen and it'll give you options with answers. Then you need to choose the right answer. Those of you who are trying to play, so it's the correct answer and the quickest answer gets the most points. So it's like a competition between yourselves. Okay, so we'll make a start. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. So here's the questions and answers. They are coming along. A healthy meal has from how many of these food groups? Okay. One, two, ten, or five. You can see on the, in the picture as well. So we have vegetables, fruits, milk, meat and beans, and grains. So how many groups do we have in the healthy meal? Very good. So we have five. Okay, next one. A carrot will fall into which category? Okay, a carrot is in vegetables. Okay, you can see this code word. It shows the uh, top five people on, the, on my screen, but you can see your position as well on the screen as well. Next question, which uh, we can never eat enough of which group?
Okay, fruits and vegetables is correct. We can never eat enough of fruits and vegetables. The more we eat, the better they are. Okay. Why should you eat healthy food? Uh, sorry, I clicked that too quick to see the answer. Next one. What does the digestive system do with the food when you eat? If you do not have the Kahoot, you can see my screen. Okay, so try and answer these questions on your Zoom screen. And then inshallah next week you can uh, download Kahoot and do the Kahoot. Okay, breaks food and takes in nutrients. That's what the digestive system will do. So we have Menahil, we have Saba, Maryam, Superman, and Farzan in the top five. Next question, why does your body need nutrients from food? So why do we need nutrients? Okay, to grow and stay healthy, mashallah, 100%. All of you got this one correct, okay? Foods like cheese, yogurt, milk, fall into which category? Okay, dairy. Okay, so these ones, they fall into the category of dairy. Eating dairy, milk, yogurt, helps your body to build. Strong bones. Okay, so milk, yogurt, cheese, they help to build uh, strong bones in our body. So we have Manahil, Maryam, Superman, Zainab, and Zayan. Number nine, vegetables, nuts, beans have nutrients that... Okay, so these, they help to keep eye, skin, and hair healthy, okay? Number 10, some foods are not as healthy or nutrients as others. True or false? That's true, very good. What is a junk food? Junk food is a food with few nutrients that is high in fat and sugar. Very good. We have Yusuf on the board as well. Things that are high in sugar can change your mood, get you energetic, harm your teeth, or all of them. Uh, 
Okay, the answer was all of them. So foods with high sugar, they change, affect our mood, affect our teeth, and how energy or tired we feel. So we have Maryam, Superman, Zain, Yusuf, and Manahim. Eating foods that are high in sugar or salt can Okay, they can cause health problems. Avoid foods that are high in sugar or salt if you can. True or false? This one is true. Your diet should be Balanced or most meat and cheese or include lots of sugar. Okay, it should be balanced. Why do people say breakfast is the most important meal of the day? Because your body needs the fuel to get started. Those people are wrong because making pancake is fun. Okay, because the body needs fuel to get started. It's like if you don't have petrol in your car, how is your car going to run? Okay, so you need some energy, you need something to help your body start functioning and help you go through the day. Eating foods like donuts and sausages are a great way to start the day. True or false? Okay, it is false. How can you choose a healthy lunch? Okay, look for foods with fresh and vegetables, fruit and vegetables in them. Okay, we don't just pick and eat everything we like. Number 19, you should always choose whole grain instead of bre bread instead of the white bread. True or false? Okay, this one is true. So whole grain breads are better than white breads. And you can see Maryam, we have then Superman, Yusuf, Zain, and Manahel in the, in the top five. Last question, fruits are high in? Okay, vitamins or sugar? Fruits are high in vitamins and help you stay healthy. Very well done. So the scoreboard looks like this. Third position, we have Yusuf. Second position, we have Superman. I don't know who that is. Uh, first position, we have Maryam. And in the fourth and fifth, we have Zain and Manahil. So very well done to all of you. Okay, so... MashaAllah, your knowledge was good on this topic. So you're going to go back to the PowerPoint. Okay. So here was the uh, last bit of the homework somebody asked for. 
So if you come back to the screen here, then we can, we've got some more left. So we have it's nearly seven, but we can go 10 minutes extra uh, to do. I do not have C questions. What is the pin? Superman was Raza. Okay, Superman was Raza. So very well done to all of you. Okay, so this is your, the two homework that I gave you. The diary, okay, and the healthy plate. That's what you need to do, okay? So the diary and the healthy plate is two of your homework. Okay, so somebody left early because they had to go somewhere, they will come. So we'll move on to the, the last part, okay? This will hopefully take us 10 minutes or so, so we won't take too long uh, to finish. So exercising, why is exercise important? Okay, being active is very important to everyone. Anything that makes us move our body, okay, that's exercise. Okay, so you might get tired, we might get a bit of warm after we're feeling exercise. Exercise is extremely important for us because it keeps our body healthy. Okay, another important reason for exercise is because it makes you feel great. The more active we are, the more energy we will have. Okay, and this energy will make us feel fantastic. Okay, we feel more confidence, our mood is better. Okay, and it has many positive effects on us. If we don't do exercise, okay, then our mood is down. We don't have enough energy, and then we might get into uh, argument and fights with our siblings as well, or friends as well. Exercise is also good for our body and organs. Okay, it is very good for our heart. The more we exercise, our stamina increases, our heart becomes stronger. Okay, so then it is it works better for our body and it helps us fight the, any diseases or illnesses better. Okay, the more active you are, the stronger our heart gets. Hopefully we all know where our heart is. Okay, so our heart is like here. Okay, so maybe you can check if you put your hand on it and it beeps, um, beats, then you can hear the, your heart as well. Okay, exercise is also very important for our muscles, okay? There are over 650 muscles in our body, okay? And with each exercise, we can do different exercises to make each of our different muscles stronger. The more we exercise, the stronger they become. So what exercises can you do, okay? So can you think of some exercises? So can you, if you know any exercises, that we can do, then raise your hand, please. Abiha. Um, you can do star jumps or push-ups. Very good. So star jumps and push-ups. What else can we do? Elias. Press up and squats. Press up and squat. Very good. Imran. Get pick. Which exercises can we do, Imran? Skipping. Yeah, skipping. We can do skipping. Uh, Manahil? Gymnastics. Gymnastics. Very good. Uh, Raza? Um, riding your bike. Riding your bike. Very good. We have Hadi says jumping, Zahra lunges. Yeah, Ishal swimming, very good. So there's many exercises we can do, okay? So I have here walking, running, jumping, as we mentioned, we have swimming and many other exercises as well, okay? And you all know, mashallah, the exercises more than me. And then backflips, mashallah. Okay, if you can do backflip, that's very good. Plank, plank is very good, push-ups, running, okay? So these are the different exercises we can do, okay? So how does our body change when we exercise? So if you run up, stand up and run on a spot for one minute, then afterwards you feel, okay, that our body is warm, we get, st uh, we get more sweaty, okay? And you feel like out of breath, okay? Because it pumps, our, our heart starts pump pumping faster, okay? It makes us more energetic. Okay, and then our blood starts flowing around our body more quicker. But 
we sometimes when we also exercise, we feel pain. For example, if you do some weightlifting or if you do lunges or if you do running, if you do lots of walking, you feel pain. But all of these with time, okay, slowly your body, your bones, because they're experiencing these changes, you feel that pain. But with time, okay, they get stronger. For If you start with, maybe you can say lift like one kilo, two kilo, five kilo. But if you keep doing slowly, your body gets used to that. It just becomes like a habit. And then afterwards, then you start lifting heavier. Yeah, with walking, for example, if somebody never walks, they walk like for 10 minutes, 20 minutes, they will feel tired because they have never done it. Okay, but if they keep doing it, then their body gets used to it and then they can do more and more and more. Okay, so what we're going to do, uh, so for the body part, it is very important that when we exercise, we also give it the right amount of food. So we just seen today, you can see the different foods and what they give us. Okay, so vegetables, meat, chocolate, milk, cheese, crisp. So each of these different food gives us different nutrients, which our body needs. And it is very important that we read the right amount, okay, to get that energy. So we have the fiber, the car carbohydrate, the proteins, and the fat. Okay, so if you don't eat the right one, then our body will not have enough energy to do the actions that we want to do. Uh, Abbas, you have a question? Um, like, do, will you like send the uh, homework to us? Uh, once uh, we register on Class Dojo, I'll send the homework on Class Dojo, yes. Okay. Uh, Zain? Sorry, 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 sorry. Zain, you have a question? Can you hear me? I don't know if you can. I can hear you, Zain. Do you have a question? Um, uh, no, sir. Okay. Uh, Ijal? Ijlal? Sorry. We have only one more task left after this. Um, I don't have, I don't have a question. Yeah? Okay. So, and Zahra. Zahra, you have a question? Zahra, you have a question? No. Okay. So we have one task left, and this is the exercise task. Okay. So you are going to follow this man, uh, the video, and you're going to do this exercise in your home now. Okay. So you need to make sure to do it so you can do some exercise practice. I'll play the video for you uh, so you can do the exercise. So it won't take long. So you can start it. So you can get some energy in the um, channel as well, okay? So let's have a look, where is it going? Okay, so if you stand up and then put in front of the computer and then do this exercise. Welcome to The Body Coach TV. My name is Joe Wicks, The Body Coach, and I'm a fitness trainer on a mission to get as many kids as I can exercising and feeling really happy and fit and confident. So this is a five minute workout, nice and simple. We're gonna work for 40 seconds on an exercise, then we take a little rest, and then we do our next exercise. There's five different moves in total. So the first one I'm gonna do, nice and simple, starting in 10 seconds time, is gonna be marching on the spot. So give yourself plenty of room, make sure you can do a little march. Here we go, the time is coming, get ready. Okay, and we're off. So 40 seconds, marching, lifting those knees up, pumping the arms, nice straight back. This is our first exercise. Remember, we're doing five moves. This is like a five minute challenge. You're gonna feel, if you're tired now, by the end of it, you're gonna have loads of energy. You're gonna feel great, so keep marching. How high can you lift your knees up? So from the side, look, I'm keeping my back straight. I'm really marching those knees up as high as I can. So keep an eye on the timer. We have got 10 seconds to go. Keep it going, let's lift those knees. Keep marching, five seconds, all the way till you hear the bell, and rest, good, right, relax. We're now gonna have a 20 second rest. Next exercise, one of my favorites, 
is called a star jump. So make sure that you can put yourself um, in a circle like this without hitting anybody. So make sure you've got a bit of room because we're going to do star jumps. Not yet. Hang on. Here we go. Ready? Go. 30, so 40 seconds of star jumps. Hands above the head. Nice big jumps. All the way for 40 seconds. Good. Nice deep breaths. Get as much air into your lungs as you can. You're doing really well. Keep it going. Halfway. 20 seconds left. Come on. Keep moving. Right, let's see how fast we can go for the last little push. Ready? Go. Last 10 seconds. Quick as you can. Arms up. Fast. Star jumps. Come on. Really quick. The bell's come in. And rest and relax. Good work. Woo. That's a tough one. I need a little drink. Okay. The next one we're starting in 10 seconds. It's called a low sprint shuffle. So we're going to be sprinting like this as quick as we can. How fast can you move your feet? Ready? Here we go. Come on, let's go. Run, 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 run. Run on the spot. Good. Ready? Let's turn, turn this way. Face that way. And to the middle. Turn the other way. Keep going. Middle. Fast as you can. Keep breathing. We've got 20 seconds to go. Come on. Keep going. Yes. We're doing so well. We're working, working hard. Come on, 10 seconds. Keep an eye on that clock. 10 second countdown. Ah. Fast feet. Imagine the floor's hot. Imagine there's lava. You've got to lift your feet up. Ah. Okay, I will stop it there. Uh, so well done for if you did the exercise. Uh, if you haven't, then you can still do the exercise. Again, you mashallah mentioned so many exercises already. So you can have a go at that. Uh, because of the time, I had to cut it short. And we have to finish. Mashallah, we had lots of questions in. That's why we, the time uh, went very quickly. I didn't realize. So uh, we will email you. Um, the, to register for class dojo please ask your parents to check for the email and to set you up uh, so you can upload your work any work that you do on the class dojo and you also receive any updates for the next week's class on the class dojo as well okay so when when you have registered your parents uh, have given their email so they will receive an email from us on how to register on class dojo so they need to follow those links and join that class for the class dojo where you get all the weekly information. Next week, our topic is spiritual and we're going to inshallah cover uh, things from the Quran uh, on there. Okay, if anybody has any final question, then I can answer that. If not, then we will uh, finish off uh, inshallah. Mariam says you... She's done these exercises before in school. Very good. So the, the guy was called Joe, uh, Joe Wicks. Okay, so if you want to do his exercises, just type his name in Google, in the YouTube, and you can find more of his videos and do them at home, inshallah. Okay, if no questions, uh, we can finish with the dua. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahman Allahumma kulli waliyaka al-hujjat ibn al-Hasan. Salawatuka alayhi wa la'abahi fi hadihi sa wa fi kulli sa. Waliya wa hafiza wa kaida wa nasira wa dalila wa aina hatta tuskinahu ardaka tawa wa tumatiya fiha tavila bi rahmatika ya arhaman rahimin. Kindly tell the class time is according to the Pakistan. Uh, the class time is the UK time is 5 30. Uh, the Pakistan time, I think Pakistan is four, four hours different uh, than uh, the UK. Eleven, uh, seven. It's four hours difference. So five, six, seven, eight, nine. So it starts nine thirty Pakistan time. Canada, I don't know the Canada time. Alia, what's your question?
Alia. Alia, what's your question? Um, uh, I know why Allah makes alcohol and all the things. He tries to like um, uh, see if we um, so like he's told us not to have it, but he's trying to see and test us if we actually have it or not. That's yeah. why he's made it. Yes, you're right. A lot of things in this world are a test for us. And we have to make sure that, inshallah, that we pass those tests and we do our best in everything. So thank you very much for joining the class. So inshallah, I'll see you all next week at 5.30, inshallah, on the topic of the spiritual. So thank you very much. Take care. Uh, Khuda Hafiz.